Hello everybody and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. Today's video is going to be one of a few parts about tools for building a van because I seem to be getting a lot of questions about what two tools do I need to buy as a self builder and I know there's lots of other channels out there you do not need to spend a fortune on tools. Certain tools are specialist tools which I would say to you some people buy anyway and one of those tools that I bought and I bought this very early on before I started Built Not Bought Campers was a rib nut tool. Now that is or will Look something like that. Now, it's just a posh version, which I would say, of a, rib, um, of a rivet gun. Whereas rivets go in and they're a permanent fixture, rib nuts are just like a nut that you attach to bodywork of your vehicle or whatever you're going to use it for. In this, in today's video, we are going to be using it on this seat base just here. Um, that's very low down in the video at the moment. I will aim the camera closer and lower and show you how we're going to be using the rib nut tool. Now, I'm going to be using M6 rib nuts, which means that will take an M6 bolt. You can get rib nuts in all sizes. Right from, in this box, we have right down from M3s. In this box, we have from M3s there and they go all the way up to M10s there so you have many different sizes so there you, go. you can get all sorts of sizes of these rib nuts another thing with these rib nuts is is the length of them now if you're going through quite thick metal you can get longer rib nuts so they can clamp onto a thicker bit of metal so you know the actual M size is the bulk size and then it will give you a length size. The longer, obviously the thicker the metal you can put it through. Now, a lot of people are using these to fix up battens on either side of their vans to put beds on, so it's easily removable. Um, because, and then I love, another lot of people are using self-tapping, self-drilling screws. Personally, I would use bolts. They're stronger, they're thicker, and it's easier to remove and put back on if you ever need to take it out. The reason we're gonna be using rib nuts today on this is because we're building and attaching sides to this framework. So when the seat base is in the van, it's gonna have a pretty look. That's all it's for. Right, so these are the panels that we've made. All they are is bits of nine mil ply covered with carpet. And they're gonna be attached around the sides of the framework of this. And when it's fitted with the seat on, it's gonna look really nice. So I'm going to drill these boards first, then I'll come back to you when we mark on the framework and drill the holes for there. Right, so now these uh, got holes drilled through them. I'm going to put a screwdriver through and wiggle it about there and that side there. And that should mark where we need to drill the holes. There, and there. All right, so I'm going to use a cone shaped drill bit.
I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how this works. Would help if I had the cap on that. Right, so there you go, rib nut tool, it's all set up. So what happens, I'm going to try and do a close up of this. So you screw it on there, and those are interchangeable for different size rib nuts. All right, and as it squashes up, you can see it. And make it easy, I'm going to try and do this slowly for you. So, you'll see it start to, and then that, right, so I'll stop there. So where you can see it's just about left a ridge, that will clamp on the back side of the piece of metal on the front, on the front side. And that, and then once that's not fully done, you screw that up here, and you come back, and it gives you some more room to squeeze it shut. Try again. And shut. So there you go. Let's take that off of there. And there's the difference in the two. That's been squeezed together. Hence, so when I said the different size shafts will give you a different length so you can squeeze onto thicker metal. So I'm going to put two in this, screw it in so you can see exactly how it's done. So there you go, we can tighten those up. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip over and do the other side. Put the other sides on, and once it's all finished, I will come back to you. And you can see what it looks like as a finished product. Right, so we now finished the seat base. Um, the panels actually look really good. The only thing I will be changing on it is the screws that I screwed them on with for now, because I want to change them for black ones. I'm more than likely to use hex head screws or Allen key screws or bolts, whichever they are going to be cool I don't know what I'm going to use yet so but whatever they will be they will be black because I think the silver ones stand out a little bit too much for my liking let's go over and have a look so there you go it's all finished off quite nicely like I say these silver screws stick out a bit like a sore thumb so the, this side has not been done yet because they're going to have hinge on there so we can keep stuff stored underneath um, but yeah once this seat base is in there and the seat sat on top it just finishes this and stops it leaving look, looking so bare under there. And I just wanted it to sort of blend simply into sort of the carpet that we're going to lay on the floor. So yeah, there we go. That's all done. That is your riv nut tool and that is your seat base. All right, so there you go. That is your riv nut tool. And just to show you quickly how to change the different size ends. I don't ever tighten mine up, although you get the spanner to tighten this up with. You can take that off, which gives you the hole for the M6, whatever size you're going to put in. That unscrews off of there. 
that bit. And to unscrew that one out, you pull on this one, this is, you pull that down and undo it. That comes out. And let's get the other one to go in. <clears throat> this looks like an M3 going in. So you pull that back down, drop that in there. That should come up and lock there so that one undo itself. And you get the M3, this is not the M3, and then that will go back, no, sorry. Then that bit goes back on top and screw that down. And that's adjustable with that locking up there. And then that will sit over the top of there. So you can't really see it much until there. And then that will lock back up. Right, simplest way to sort of describe that tool. All your little bits and pieces with this kit come in little boxes like that for different sizes. And obviously you can see that's an M4 because I've marked it on top as M4, although it is uh, stamped around the side, lid of the box. If you've got any questions regarding the Rivnut tool or regarding my seat base build, um, there should be a video coming out on that, a little bit about that soon, about the seats and everything. But this was literally based around the Rivnut tool and how to use it. Um, a little bit of an insight to the seat base and finishing the seat base off. So this bus build is gonna be a little bit of a mixture of everything. Um, if you've got any questions about my bus build or any of the builds that I do in this workshop, any work I do, heaters, electrics, anything, just leave your comments below. Um, if you're finding my videos interesting and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you will get all the notifications of when my videos go out. I always put a video out on a Thursday. If I get a chance, I'll put one out on a Sunday or somewhere in the week if I can. It all depends what time there is because we are very, very busy in the workshop. And now we're coming into the new year and the new show season. We'll be at a lot of shows. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm loving sort of entertaining you lot because I seem to, and everybody seems to quite like it because I'm getting loads of comments, I'm getting all sorts of emails. If you want some work done on your van and you've got a vehicle and you don't know what to do with something, we help people do their vehicles. Also, we can do a full on build, we can do anything. Let me know. Um, emails in the description, Instagram there. Let me know what you, where I say on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And I think that's about it really. And, all I've got left to say is, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying very, very well. And most of all, staying happy. It's a lot easier being happier than sad. Bye for now.